Hey world, so today we are going to be talking about how to improve your handwriting with these simple steps. So first, you need to make sure that you have a goal. Many different people have neat handwriting, yet they come in different styles. A great place to get a goal is social medias like Instagram and Pinterest because they have people who already wrote down their own handwriting font and showed it online and if you have a goal then you'll know where you're going towards with your handwriting and you'll know which handwriting to choose. Now we're going to be looking at some common mistakes people make when writing and one of them is not spacing correctly because if you space too little then it makes the words kind of smushed and you can't really read what it's saying. Now the next important thing is to make sure that you're closing all your letters like your O's and your D's and your A's because then sometimes the letters can get confusing and it just doesn't look as neat like O's can look like U's if they're not closed and A's can look like U's if they're not closed and G's can look like Y's if they're not closed. So just make sure that you are closing your letters. Not only will it give it a more complete look, it will also make it more legible, so it is very important to close your letters. You also have to make sure that you aren't making your S senders and D senders too long or too short. If they're too long, then your words can get tangled together and it makes it harder to read because you don't know which S sender goes where. And if they're too short, then the letters can get kind of confusing because a D can look like an A and an H can look like an N and so on. So those are just some things to look out for when writing. So the next thing to do is just to make sure that you're staying consistent because there are some letters that can look really different and if you make it look different then it just doesn't look neat. Even if each letter individually is neat then, but like, you know, your A's are different and your you have two different T's and they're different, it doesn't look this nice. That being said, you can change one letter at a time when changing your handwriting. Just make sure that you're changing all of your A's and not just one A, or changing all of your D's instead of just one D, or if you're changing both A's and D's, you're changing all of your A's and all of your D's, not just a few, because you can do, you can improve your handwriting by one letter at a time. Just make sure that you are, you know, just being consistent with your handwriting. Another thing that's important to consider when writing is just, you know, the writing utensil that you're using. There are several different writing utensils and characteristics to each pen, and these things can dramatically change your handwriting. I will be making a video and posting it in the cards and in the description box below about picking the right pen, so be sure to check that out. So the last thing to do is to practice, and one way is you can either go on social media and pick the picture of the font that you really like, or you can go on your computer and pick a font from the computer that you really like and just type out all the letters and all the symbols in the alphabet or get a picture of all the letters and symbols of the alphabet, make it gray and make it into a little worksheet and just trace over the letters in your worksheet. And the worksheet that I showed you as well as the handwriting document will be linked in the description box below for you to use. So hope that's helpful. That's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed and remember to have a happy Monday. Bye-bye.